Hello, and welcome to Connecting Tucson with Jamie Overturf, broadcasting from the Tucson Business Channel, a division of Mark Bishop Media, situated in Stewart Title Corporate Offices on Broadway in Tucson, Arizona. Connecting Tucson is all about connecting our community, our local businesses, and organizations to help our community grow and thrive. Today we're talking to the manager of Pam's Fizzy Factory Kids Spa, located in the Tucson Mall, Jody Durazo. Welcome, Jody. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> so, Jody, you were born and raised in Tucson as a Tucsonian. I, that's very rare. Um, you've always loved living in the desert, correct? I I do love living in the desert. There's always a what if of what else is out there and if it's prettier than here. But I've traveled and Tucson's pretty chill. Yes, and this is the time of year where we love being in Tucson because the rest of the world is in like the 30s and the 20s and we're in the 60s and the 70s. That's that's my favorite. So. Absolutely. Well, Jody is also a wife and a mother and an avid animal lover. She's worked in the beauty industry for many years and loves working with kids. I can't wait to hear about uh, Pam's Fizzy Factory Kids Spa. Um, so we're just going to jump right in and we're going to ask you to tell us a little bit about yourself and the owner, Pam Fisk get us involved with that. Sure. So um, I actually met Pam being a customer of hers and uh, I started working for her in January. We did have another location, but that is no longer open. Our only location is in the Tucson Mall, as you said. Mm -hmm. And then we moved. So we've been at the Tucson Mall since June 5th. Okay. That was our grand opening there. And Pam's actually had the business for a year. So we did celebrate our one year anniversary on uh, October 10th. Congratulations. Thank that's you very huge much. In, in this, in, like, especially with COVID and everything, that's huge. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a really, really, really fun ride. <laughs> so, what did Pam do before she opened up the Kid Spa? Well, like I was telling you, I, I used to be a customer of hers because she makes bath bombs. So that's where the Fizzy Factory name comes oh, from. Oh, okay. So Pam's Fizzy Factory was her bath bomb making company. And we specialize in uh, really cute bath bombs in the new kids spa. Okay. And that's what she did before she opened um, the kids spa. So she does have another job. Mm -hmm. um, so I am there most of the time managing the store for her. And... Um, just trying to make it a great place for everyone, including successful business for, for her. Excellent. So why a kid spa? Why did she want to open up a kid spa? She just felt like there was a place that little girls, boys needed to go oh. to that wasn't necessarily sports related or things like that. She wanted a, a fun place not only to make memories, but to be able to host birthday parties and um just have a really fun place for kids to enjoy. That sounds wonderful. I know there's not really, I mean, a lot of places for kids unless it's like an arcade or some type of, you know, sporting event, like you said. And there's some people just don't want to participate in that. And some people want to have more of like a fun, relaxed, making memory day, like you said. So that's awesome. So so you, you started working for her after you were a customer because she makes bath bombs. Yes. All right. So tell me, what is a what is a kid spa? I, 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 maybe I'm just, I know, I, I've, I've researched it, so I know. So maybe uh, our listeners might not know what a kid spa actually is. Is it similar to a day spa that you would have as an adult, or is it differences? Tell us, what, what is a kid spa? Well, you're correct, um, even though the name may seem to say it all. Uh, we have a large, you know, name of our store right outside and people walk by and they're like, Kid Spa, like real confused. Like, what is this? <laughs> like Kid Spa, Pam's Fizzy Factory, like what is this? So I'll tell you what it is. We offer many spa services and keep in mind, our services are for entertainment purposes only. So where you go into a regular salon and they do the cutting, the filing, mm -hmm. we don't cut or file because sometimes our our customers are very young and they get nervous mm -hmm. when people are cutting or filing on them. Yes. And we don't want them to be nervous. We want them to be completely relaxed when they're enjoying their time at the kids spa. So we do many manicures. We do many pedicures. And we also do facials. Really? We do makeup. And we also offer braiding and hairstyling services. So everything is fit for a kid. The 
beautiful princess couch that we have inside of our castle where the kids get their pedicures are fit for kids, uh, fit for a little king or queen. And they come in, we pamper them, we put little spa robes and headbands on them. Depending on the package they get, they could also dress up in our princess dresses. Um, We have a front area of retail space as well as a large private back area. And that's where we host our kids' birthday spa parties back there. Nice. Okay. So you you mentioned some of your products and services, but you also mentioned packages. What are some of the packages that you have to offer? Sure. So one of our most popular packages is called a Mommy and Me. So you can bring uh, your child in and you can get pampered together with them for uh, the afternoon or the evening. Um, Whatever you decide, it's about an hour, an hour and a half long. We also offer packages for like BFFs. So you could come, like the kids can come with one best friend or two best friends, family members. So um, those are our packages besides our party packages, which are for six kids or more. Okay. So you can, um, so most of your packages, your party packages are tailored for six or more. Yes. How many kids slash mommy slash BFFs can you host in one sitting? Is there more than just you or is it just you there? How does that work? Well, we we work um, by appointment. So if there are more than one appointment, we can hold that and we just have proper staffing there um, for those appointments. So um, for instance, a party can start at six kids, but sometimes we could have up to 12 kids. So then I would definitely be able to have more staff there to take care of all of the kids. Uh, We have, like I said, the private back area where we can um, hold our services or in the front area where our retail space and our other items are set up in front. We can take other appointments. Excellent. What's the largest group that you've been able to accommodate? Or well, that you are able to accommodate, I apologize. I would say 12. Um, okay. One day we had a surprise, and uh, it was the day we all survived the party of 14 kids, <laughs> about 14 adults, full breakfast, completely unexpected, um, just showed up like, hi, we're here with 14. I know the package said six, but hey, we're here. Oh, so geez. the saving grace was I was training one of the new girls uh, that day, and she was able to help um, with oh, that party. Nice. So it worked out, but I would say comfortably 12 is okay. a max. So um, again, you, you, your packages, what um, you said, let's talk about the mommy and me package. What can, what does that package consist of? So they can come in and choose um, either a facial, makeup, manicure and pedicure. So they get two services each or three services each. Okay. Um, we have mommy size robes and they get dressed up along with their nice. kid. And we also have um, sparkling champagne flutes where we serve them oh. a beautiful glittery drink. Drink um, as well during their appointment, and it's just really it, like an intimate time between a mother and a child to enjoy together and just kind of relax. Um, you'll never imagine hearing a three-year-old saying they're relaxed, but three-year-olds do appreciate really? relaxation as well. Um, so that's what our mommy and me is. Okay. Um, our diva day for two okay. would be like a girl and her or a kid and their friend or, BFF. or BFF. Yes. And then um, they get to choose three services each. And then the BFF day is for three of them. And then again, they get to choose three services each. They get dressed up in the spa robes headbands. We get them something to drink. And it's just a lot of fun. I can't tell you everything that we do there because we want them to come in and experience it. Exactly. But every single service they choose has a little special touch to it that kids really appreciate. That's wonderful. So um, if they were to come in, how long would they be spending at your location typically? Well, they can do walk-in services as well. So it's just not only like by appointment or packages. Um, They could come on in and maybe get a a mini manicure. And those things can take anywhere from like 15 minutes for a service to... um, an hour and a half, depending on the package they they choose. Our birthday parties are normally two hours long. Okay. But we also also offer other packages where they can do other add-ons to the the normal party packages so they can be there maybe three hours too. Perfect. So do you offer anything in the store besides spa services and party packages? Yes, we have so much cool stuff all over the Fizzy Factory. Right now it has that Halloween vibe going on. So we have some um, pumpkin bath bombs in. We have some pumpkin pecan waffle bath bombs, aliens, um, 
coffins, <laughs> like with real rose petals. So we do specialize in very unique bath bombs. We have some um, that were made just for the fizzy factory. They're mummies. So they we, we have donut bath bombs, but these are like a white donut that look like a mummy. Oh. So um, those are cool. And those are in the store right now. We also have um, socks, really cute like boutique items like tutus. Oh, socks. Dresses. Like, okay, sorry. Yeah, like knee-high socks. Okay. Um, they're from Australia, so they're very unique in design. And we also have poppets. So if you've heard those little fidget toys that are going yes. around right now that everybody wants. Um, I had a gentleman come into the store who didn't speak very good English. But as he saw all these kids coming in and grabbing them, he's like, they're like a magnet. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yes, you're right, sir. <laughs> they are like a magnet. So we have a very large variety of really cool poppets, like pencil bags, purses, uh, bracelets, giant ones. Oh, wow. um, and we also have purses for kids, jewelry, just a very wide assortment of products for sale, as well as some do-it-yourself stations in the store. Great. So this is a very unique concept. Is this a locally owned business or is it a local franchise? How has that worked? Um, Pam is a Pam of Pam's Fizzy Factory. <laughs> She's okay. the only Pam around right. um, that has this had this idea to, to open a kid's spa. So we are completely locally owned and operated. Uh, we do hope to franchise possibly in the future. Things have been going very well um, right now with the current location in the Tucson Mall but we have had several offers to possibly go into other malls and even other states. So we're definitely wow. um, looking into that. All right. Excellent. Um, so completely 100% local to Tucson. Yes. Such a unique idea. And I know it's unique, but why would someone, let's say, go instead of coming to you or I'm sorry, I'm going to I'm going to rephrase this. Why would a mom and a daughter come to you instead of going to a regular spa? What makes it that different and why should they choose you? It's completely kid friendly. So if you walk by our store in the mall, you you just feel magic. You see princesses everywhere. It's almost like a princess meets Alice in Wonderland vibe. So it's like black, white, and pink, really, really nice colors. We have the castle in there. So, I mean, no salon you go to has a castle where you can actually go inside and sit up there with your with your mom, mom and the daughter, and then they enjoy a pedicure on our princess couch in the castle. Um, we also make our diva dust, and that's what we include in our pedicure. So it's something we make right there in the fizzy factory. They're multicolored, multi-scents that we offer, and we drop them in their uh, foot bath, and it bubbles up, changes color. It actually has glitter hidden inside, so oh, the wow. little girls love anything with glitter. Of course. Um, we also have a conditioner, maybe if you want to have a boy come in and get their nails polished and they don't want to color, we cater to them too. We have conditioners that we can put on the boys. They love the foot baths as well. They absolutely love sticking their foot in something that bubbles up and fizzes. Exactly. And I, I think even older guys sometimes like that as well. They just won't admit it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We do get some questions for like daddy and me, but unfortunately we don't do daddy and me's, but we we do have special events for the dads like Daddy and Me Teas. Oh, So um, it's just very unique inside. It smells amazing. So the lotions we use are strawberry. Right now we have coconut candy apple, of course, for the fall season, including pumpkin latte. So we just try to make things a little bit different so kids feel special. Yes, and I think that's one of the big differences between a regular spa where a mom might want to take their, their daughter or son to a, a big spa. There's a bunch of adults around versus when they're going into your location, it's just magical. They're like, oh, this is more for me. You're doing this for me. And I think that's versus the big spas are more for the moms to yes. relax and like get that deep tissue massage. Yes. That's not what you're getting here. No, it's <laughs> just a great time for photos too, because our whole store is decorated for photo ops all over as well. Wonderful. So, I mean, if they wanted to bring their kid dressed up, they could take photos anywhere in the store as well. As well. So it's not just a normal salon inside. Good thing you brought up photos. I was actually going to ask, do you actually do photos and send them to them? Or is that just something that they do selfies with at your location? Some are included in our party packages. So you can get a digital photo album okay. um, with our party packages. We do um, also offer dress up during the week. And we include a digital photo with that package as well. Oh, that is awesome. So my next question, what does your average clientele actually look like? What, what's the youngest you've taken? What's the oldest you've taken? Like, how does that work? 
Well, I've actually experienced a very wide range of kids uh, age-wise. My youngest appointment that I had was not even a year old. Wow. So she still looked like a baby, but uh, I, I'll test them out first. I'll see how they sit, if they can, you know, stay still for a second. <laughs> right. You know, long enough to complete a manicure because I don't want to charge somebody right. and then them not be able to have a good experience. So I kind of do a test if it's like a super young kid like that age. But um, I would say three is our starting point for the majority of when kids start to come into the kids spa. Okay. And I've had um, kids as old as 17 come by and say, hey, can we come in and get our nails done? I'm like, well, you're a kid too, sure. Oh, so that's I've, so sweet. We accept any any ages, um, as well as special needs. So, for instance, if you have a child who has special needs and may be older than, than 17, but their mentality is, a, is still a kid, I don't want them to miss out. So I've had adults in there, you know, that are at the mentality of a child who absolutely love going. So I don't want to just say... That's amazing, especially because, you know, they... Uh, someone with special needs like that sometimes gets really triggered or can have some type of adverse reaction with going to something that's more adult. If they feel comfortable, yes. they're able to relax. And that really does take a lot of pressure off the parents. So yes. that is phenomenal. Yes. I am so happy that you guys do that. Thank you. Well, you certainly have a unique business model. Um, I've never heard anything like it, and I'm very much intrigued. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to Connecting Tucson with Jamie, where we focus on connecting our community, our local businesses, and organizations to help our community grow and thrive. As your local insurance professional for all insurance needs, I know how important it is to make new and lasting connections in your own community. You never know how a connection will create a spark or pull you in a unique direction. If you're a small business owner or involved in a community project and you'd like to be featured on the show, please give me a call. All of my information is on the Tucson Business Channel, Connecting Tucson with Jamie, and I'd love to hear from you. Uh, today, we're talking with Jody Durazo, the manager of Pam's Fizzy Factory Kids Spa, a wonderfully unique concept that I just adore, and I'm probably going to uh, be sending a lot of business your way. I have a lot of mommy and little daughters that this just caters right to them. Thank you. Um, we were talking about little kids and special needs before, and I know how important it is to make sure that the kids' safety is paramount. And I know that the COVID pandemic definitely uh, changed a lot of how businesses actually do business. Has it changed any on how you operate? How do you make sure that the kids stay safe and they're protected from everything? Can you walk us through those steps? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first off, let me start off by saying we, I started working for this, for Pam's Fizzy Factory right in the middle of the pandemic. Yes. Um, and nobody has gotten sick at any party, no employees, no one has gotten sick at the kids spa. So I feel really comfortable telling parents that we have a safe place for them. Some of the things that we do do to make sure that it is um, completely sanitary is um, a lot of the items, like for instance, when we do mini manis with the Orbeez, everybody gets fresh Orbeez to play with with their nails for the manis and we throw them out after every service. Uh, we do have um, EPA certified sanitary sanitation products that we use. So we sanitize everything after it's been used, whether it be the princess dresses, the robes, uh, the manicure stations, everything they sit on. They get a facial done. The couch is completely sanitized. Um, so we make sure everything is is very clean as well. I'm exactly. constantly wiping down the store, the high the high uh, touch areas, I'm constantly wiping down. We also are using towels that are certified uh, by the spa association. So they're um, put through a, spe a special process yes. where they're certified as well. So mm -hmm. those are the towels we use for our pedicures, our facials, our manicures. And between every party, we give 30 minutes to properly sanitize as well. So we have parties every two hours on the weekends, but we leave half an hour in between to make sure everything's clean. Excellent. And what are your hours of operation? We're open mall hours, except Mondays we're closed. So the mall is open Tuesday through Thursday, 11 to 7 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 11 to 8 p.m., and Sundays, 12 to 6. And the hours are going to be changing for the holidays, mm -hmm. I think, in December. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And I'm assuming you're closed on the Thanksgiving and Christmas. Just like you're you're open when the mall's open is basically what Mm -hmm. that is. Okay. And they can still walk up and do um, walk-ins if you can accommodate them. Yes, definitely. We do accept walk-ins. We also have little do-it-yourself areas that they can walk in and do. Really? So we have a lotion making station. We have a sugar scrub Sunday making station. And right when you walk in our store, we have a very large, really cool display. It's called our bubble bar. So we have different scents of like a bubble bath fizz. It's not really a bath bomb. It's more like a bubble bath. And they get us oh. choose their ice cream scoop flavor. Uh-huh. And we put it in a little Sunday cup and they can put sprinkles. And all of our do-it-yourself areas are only $10. And then they get to take that home and have a yes. spa day at their house. That's yes. perfect. I love that idea. Never thought about that. So, <laughs> yes. Um And what a unique way to make a memory to take home. That is such a unique Christmas gift for anybody that has a a daughter or son that really loves that type of thing. So amazing. Yeah, Pam totally has the most creative ideas I have ever seen. And when you step in the store, you'll see what I mean. Oh, yes, yes. I've seen some pictures online. I haven't (laughs) stepped there before, but there'll be pictures online on the podcast, too, so you can see some of those. So Um, what are some challenges you're facing in business right now, if any? Well, luckily, we've been really blessed, um, not only with business, but staff. So I have an amazing team of girls. That was kind of like my worry of being a manager is who I'm hiring on. Will they be good employees? Will they be a good representation of the kids spa? Work well with kids? Mm -hmm. Um, So that was my biggest worry is making sure the staff was there. Right. I, right now, that's what a lot of businesses are having problems with, mm-hmm. is staffing. So they have the business. Right. They just don't have staff to help run the business. So we've been very, very blessed on having a very great team of uh, girls who have been amazing. So we haven't really had to worry about that. That's excellent. Um, are you planning on bringing any extra people on for the holidays? Absolutely. We're okay. definitely planning a very busy holiday season. We're stack, uh, storing a ton of holiday stuff, so it'll be ready to go. No delays in, in anything there at the Fizzy Factory. Excellent. So I, I have to be honest, when you first messaged me, that was the first time I was ever hearing about a kid's spa, and I was picturing something completely different. Um, are there any, um, and I wasn't sure what, to expect. Do you see people having misconceptions about who you are and what you are, um, especially those that might be calling in? And what are they? Um, could you repeat that one more time? Yeah, please? No, Sorry. No, no, no. So do, do you have any people that are, you know, have any misconceptions about what your business are? Like they think that you're an actual spa, like, and how, like, how do you handle that? Um, not really. I did have a question um, just the other day where they asked, like, do you have a salon license? Or are you required to? That was uh-huh. kind of like one of the first times I've had that type of a question. And since it is for entertainment purposes only, we mm-hmm. don't require a license because we don't do any cutting, filing, use any hot tools, cutting of the hair, nothing like that. Right. You're not waxing, um, taking. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes people do come in and maybe they're a little like, wait, like, aren't you going to cut the nail or file? And then I'm like, no, I'm sorry, we don't do that. But we do offer files. So you could file the kids nails down if you do want to do that before their services. So I try to have things there for them in case they were thinking that oh, it would be like right. that. And it's yes, not. So right. they're but if you read the website, everything's in great detail of what, what you should be expecting when you come to our kids' spot. Right, because it is entertainment purposes, yes. like you said. So what does the future hold for Pam's Fizzy Factory Kids' Spa? Well, if Pam accomplished all this in a year, I definitely see, like I told you, the franchise thing coming up in the future. I've had people as far as Georgia, Florida, California, Mexico, they've all been in there saying, wow, like we need this where mm-hmm. we are. There's nothing like this for kids. And uh, I definitely see maybe uh, another store in the future. Well, that is amazing. So um, you're, you're thinking potentially about franchising it and making that a business. So that's that's good. What do you love best about managing the Fizzy Factory? Working with kids. Um, Can you elaborate? Okay. um, I love boys, too, so don't get me wrong, but I have a (laughs) child of my own who's a boy, and I don't have any girls, so just being around that girl vibe, Mm -hmm. I love it. I love enjoying the stories the little girls tell me. They walk by, and they recognize me, and they're like, oh, hi. You know, they come in and give me a hug. Like, yeah, exactly, like I'm their best friend. And then they tell their friends at school, and then I have all them coming in. So I would say the most rewarding part is actually being able to interact with 
kids who are just so adorable and so smart. I get some kids as young as two that have conversation like they're seven. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. I am completely amazed by some of these children. You're, I can be blown away by some of the things that like, like a three or four year old could say, like, how did you comprehend that and be and, able to say it back to me? But And you know what? Kids are very smart and sometimes they're just overlooked or just not listened to in the way that they should be. So. Yeah. So I think what the parents think sometimes is that they're like, my kid won't sit still for this. Like mm-hmm. they won't. And I tell them, give them a chance. Bring them in. It's just different when you have somebody giving you 100% of their attention. And that is what we do there. We give that child that we're dealing with or the children in the party 100% of our attention. They're like the main focus the whole time they're in the kid's spa. And they don't get a lot of that in their day-to-day lives, especially in interactions. At least in, you know, my experience, parents are pulled in billion different directions. So even when they're at home, it's usually not that 100% looking at you and, you know, interacting with you all the time. I might have to cook or, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to take a phone call. So, yeah, I I think that's that's good to point out to the parents out there is give them a chance because it's different when it's somebody else and not actually the parents trying to do something too. Exactly. I find that big because, you know, my son doesn't listen to me, (laughs) but he'll listen to my best friend. And I'm like, I just said that. Exact (laughs) same thing, right? You get that, right? Yes, I totally do. So do you have a a favorite event or a favorite group that you serviced or and why was that? uh, What is a memorable one that you've done? And you're like, oh, my God, that's my that topped the list. Let's see. Let me think. I've dealt with so many and they're honestly all really great. Um, but things can get a little crazy there. So yes, they can. it may not be all, you know, dresses and flowers and all that. Um, sometimes you get those little three year olds that are biting a wand in half in front of you <laughs> and hitting you in the head with a pillow from the castle. Hey, and I mean, those are memorable. It's yes. really fun experiences that you've you've never thought you were going to have in your life. And it's just so funny that I'm sitting there all of a sudden, a three-year-old throws a pillow at me thinking it's hilarious. And I just have to laugh too, because it really was. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, So do you have any special events coming up that you want our listeners to know about? Yes, we are always doing really fun things at uh, the Fizzy Factory. We're going to be having a puppet trading event coming soon. So the kids can bring their old puppets. They'll be completely sanitized by our employees prior to the trade. And then they'll be able to trade them with some other kids and maybe get something new that they didn't have that they wanted because all puppets are different. There's so many varieties of them. And then we are planning our big Halloween party. So we are celebrating actually on Halloween day and we're going to have two parties that day. So we have uh, 1 to 3 p.m. for ages 9 and under and then 3 to 5 p.m. ages 10 and up. So like 10 to 17. Mm -hmm. And we will also be having a dance instructor there from um, Center Stage Dance Studio, I'm pretty sure it's called, teaching them uh, TikTok Halloween dances. Oh, So she'll be there coordinating for an hour a dance and we'll be doing some trick-or-treating with other local stores in the mall. Oh, that is so fabulous. So, of course, if we're going to do the TikTok dances, your guys are going to put those on TikTok and show them every... Yes, we have a TikTok. Excellent. And then a really another um, event that I want to make sure um, I mention is we're going to be doing a Black Friday Young Entrepreneur event. So we're actually going to have young entrepreneurs come in the Fizzy Factory, set up a booth, whatever they sell, if they need their parents' help. Of course, the parent is welcome to be there to assist them. And we're going to be uh, doing gift wrapping um, for a donation um, to support a local charity and that's going to be a really cool event, and I'm excited to see what the kids make. Uh, it should be very, very interesting. I, I might have to come there on a Black Friday and help support some of our young entrepreneurs. Thank you. Being an entrepreneur myself. Um, so one question I did forget to ask. Um, obviously, you do children from 3 to 17. Um, do you require that the parents stay there, and how do you? Uh, how does that process work to make sure the kids are safe? Um, I definitely recommend... Um, if the parent feels comfortable staying or leaving, it's like up to them, mm-hmm. like, and up to our discretion as well. Like, we don't like to keep the kids who maybe aren't potty trained 
because if they have to use a restroom, we don't right. want to have to do that. Um, we would recommend if they're not potty trained, the parents stay. But sometimes I get parents who may want to drop off like a 12 year old and they're like, hey, can I go to Dillard's really quick or, you know, go grab a crepe or whatever and then come back. And then I'll just ask them for their phone number and I'll let them know that we'll give them a call when the child's done. So Perfect. it just kind of depends on the age and um, the comfort level, the comfort level. If, if they're self-dependent or not or that type of thing. Yeah. So for like at birthday parties, we can't have all the parents there. So we recommend like three, maybe five parents. I can say because that could be a lot of parents in one room as yes. well. So yes. not really fun for kids then because then they feel like they're being controlled. <laughs> all right. Well, um, I want to thank you for coming on Connecting Tucson and sharing your story and business. Um, it's absolute, absolutely awesome. Um, is there anything that you would like to add that we haven't discussed, Jody? Well, I want to first off tell you, thank you very much, um, not only for being my very first podcast, <laughs> but for accepting our Kids Spa as one of the um, businesses on your show. So I want to tell you, thank you. And I just want to make sure that everybody knows that we're in the Tucson Mall on the lower level, directly across from Cinnabon. So you just look for the big pink store and come on in. Excellent. Well, again, thank you. I'm so happy that I found you and I'm excited to see what your future brings. I wish you nothing but the best and happy vibes. That is all for Connecting Tucson with Jamie, uh, broadcasting from Mark Bishop Media located in the Stuart Title Studios. If you like the show, let me know. You can connect with Pam's Fizzy Factory Kid Spa at 520-445-5899 or go on to Connecting Tucson with Jamie on markbishopmedia.com to see their website and other information such as social media. As always, do not be afraid to step out of that comfort zone and make a new connection. You don't know where it might lead. Until next time, this is Jamie Overturf with Farmers Insurance. Keep on making unique connections, Tucson. Have a great day.